so nice to see so many kids. We're very excited to be here, just setting up a little bit here at the end. And it's wonderful to be in this wonderful city. Hello, I see people I know. And it's, uh, it's just a real honor to play for you tonight. band and a bunch of old friends at all at the same time. Um, we've been working on a record of children's songs, actually, kids' songs about emotions or broadly mental health. And it, we're really excited to be putting this record out on, uh, on the Folkways label at some point next year. Um, this next song is, is one that's from that collection. So we'll just blast you with a couple, a couple that are our music, sort of like by means of introduction, and then um, we'll get into some other music that you guys are probably here to listen to and sing along to. Um, this one's about not being afraid of the dark. <laughs> Well, you know, I mean, you know we're here to honor the great Pete Seeger, who would be 100 years old today, or this year, not today. His birthday's back in May. I know that. 
as a Taurus. And Pete would have made this a sing-along. So I'm just going to tell you what the chorus is right now, right off the bat. Pete Seeger style. This chorus is going to go like this. It goes, the moon and the stars and me, something, something. You don't, you don't need to know the rest of it. But you guys want to try that much? Go the one, two, three, four. The moon and the stars and me. That's it. <laughs> you guys got it? Uh, try it one more time. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. The moon and the stars and me. Okay, it's going to be good. You'll know your part when it comes around. time I was afraid of the dark scared the shadows away by turning on the light one day a shadow said hey I'm just a friend of the sun and the sun sent me here to help you sleep through the night here we go the moon and the stars and Watching over the world, but just till the sun comes back, the moon and the stars and me. We know the colors are sleeping, that's why they all look black. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the colors are sleeping, and so are your shoes. And all your t shirts are sleeping, reds, yellows, and blues. And all the birds are curled up in their nests in the trees. And when the shadows lie down, so will the dog at your feet. Here we go. The moon and the stars and me, we're watching over the world. But just till the sun comes back, the moon and the stars and me, we know the colors are sleeping. That's why they all look black again. The moon and the stars and me, watching over the world. But just till the sun comes back, the moon and the stars and me, we know the colors are sleeping, that's why they all look black. They sleep in my closet till the sun and me are too tired to play. The moon and the stars and me, we're watching over the world, but just till the sun comes back. The moon and the stars and me, we know the colors are sleeping, and that's why they all look black. Come on, the moon and the stars and me, watching over the world, but just till the sun comes back. and amazing Pete Seeger. He really, um, he w one of the things he was most excellent at is, is collecting the great traditional songs, the songs that were so old nobody remembers who wrote them and he, and he played them on his banjo and he brought them around the land, both instrumentals and songs that you can sing words on. And so this next one is, um, is one that I remember my dad singing to me for real every, there was one, one of the, there was, there was this one and it was Edelweiss that I most remember my dad when I was a little kid singing. And it's a song called Cindy. Do you guys know it? It goes, oh, oh wait, give me, give me a D. Oh, I wish I 
wish I, this is the part I remember him singing. Maybe you guys can relate. Oh, I wish I was an apple hanging on a tree. But he'd change it because my name's Kristen. He'd say, every time the Kristen can she take a little bite of me, would you get along home? So you guys sing along on this one and feel free to substitute the name of your dear loved one. I'm going to sing Cindy because that's traditionally what it is. Would you get along home, Cindy, Cindy, get along home? Won't you get along home, Cindy, Cindy, down in Rockingham? Those are the words. Sing along when we get there. traditional song that, that you know, Pete would credit with um, having learned from Lead Belly. And I guess as I, as I said on the other stage this morning, one of the great things about Pete, he always credited his sources. So Pete, if Pete learned this one from Lead Belly, I learned it from my friend Morris Smiley, who has an amazing a cappella ensemble called Voco. And our mutual dear friend Evie Layden, who is a great body percussionist and clogger made up some body rhythms to accompany the song. So that's the lineage of this one. It's called Bring Me a Little Water, Sylvie. And you're welcome to sing along on this one too. Or snap, or clap.
Pete would say. Carrie, tell them what Pete would say, because I'm busy doing body oh, percussion. Right. So in preparation for the show, I watched a lot of Pete Seeger old footage, and he said, anyone sing, doesn't matter. Don't worry about the harmony. That's not what matters, just sing. And so if you guys could just give it a try, that would be great. And we will too. With your body, with your voice. And he really wanted to bring people together this way. This next one, um, this next one, a lot, a lot of people associate with Pete Seeger because he's one of the many people who played it. Um, it's called Dink's Song because of the woman who, I guess her nickname was, was Dink, and she was washing the clothes around the turn of the century, and I think it's Alan Lomax's dad heard her doing that and recorded this, this very old traditional song which recently resurfaced in this movie. Has anybody seen Inside Lewin Davis? Any fans of the Coen brothers out there? Only a couple, Hi. okay. Ah, all right, a couple. Well, there, there, was a, there, was a, there was a movie that, that came out a couple, maybe, I guess like maybe eight years ago now yeah. or something. Okay, not that recently. Um, but kind of a, a somewhat parody, somewhat serious movie about the, the folk scene in New York City and in the 1960s. And, this song was in the film, so we're about to do it in a very derivative style of the, uh, you know, the the major motion picture soundtrack. Except for that, we're not being totally derivative because this man is actually the guy playing the guitar on that track. If you <laughs> if you <laughs> happen to recognize it, it's a uh, Oscar Isaac plays the part in the movie and sings it. But you're about to see the the guitar player behind the behind the music. This is Chris Eldridge, everybody. Let's make him welcome. One of the guitar players. One of the guitar players. There we go. One of the guitar players.
stage and it won't be long you call my name and I'll be gone In the pouring rain And in my heart There was an aching pain Your part Fairly well My honey Fairly well If I had wings Like Noah's dove I'd fly to the one I love So fare thee well My honey Fare thee well So fare thee well My honey Fare On the, on the fiddle, ladies and gentlemen, you'll be hearing more from her soon. This is Dr. Carrie Graw. Thank you very much. Aaron, did you want to come back out and play on? And this is our friend from Annapolis on the mandolin, Aaron Buchheister. I'm going to play a fiddle tune for you guys. And as Kristen introduced me, I am a, a physician. And I'm a child psychiatrist. And music, like for Pete, environmentalism and social activism was really his mission. And for me, uh, music and, and mental health and bringing people together and bringing awareness is really my, my mission as a physician. And when I was in medical school, I saw a fiddle player on a stage. And I thought to myself, oh my god, I, could, I would give anything to play the fiddle and, and to do that. And then someone said, you know, just, just do it. And so here we are. <laughs> So thanks for listening, and uh, we'll have more about the mental health piece and the advo advocacy piece uh, shortly. This one's called Cumberland Gap.
good selection. Songs from one of our heroes, Pete Seeger. We're going to come back to a couple of the new songs we've been working on. On our best days, we hope to be in the tradition of somebody like Pete who wrote music with a mission. And as Carrie's saying, our mission is worldwide mental health. Yeah. That's right. Just give it up for that, actually. Uh, a lot of, um, you know, this, this day and age has seen a lot of increase in mental health issues for a number of reasons. I um, won't go into them today, but uh, <laughs> this is a song that I wrote. A lot of these songs I wrote with Kristen because I was directly inspired by patients when working at uh, Bellevue Hospital in New York City, which was, anybody know Bellevue? It's a very famous uh, hospital. A lot of psychiatry uh, goes on there, but I wrote this with a all the children in mind that have to switch schools constantly and move and go to different houses and all of this. Um, and it's about leaving home and moving and learning to cope and, and feel nostalgic, but also move on in your life. So here we go. <laughs> One step, two step, three step, four. <laughs>
psychiatrist that sees a lot of children in New York City, I um, really think that reaching children through music as a parent works very well. So if you're a parent or you're a grandparent out there and you want to communicate with your child about an emotional issue, music, no matter what, what genre, connect with your kids uh, and your grandkids via music. It's very international, it's very special. And here's a song we wrote about sadness uh, because everybody feels sad, adults, children. Uh, but we know that it's like a storm. It passes over us and brighter, brighter uh, days come out ahead. You know, our internal climate stays the same. So here's our, here's our song about this for you. Feeling sad. Sad and blue, you may feel that no one loves you. Feeling bad, everything you do turns out wrong, and there's nothing new. But there are things, things you can do. Chase away those lonely blues, and when you feel so undone, do something you think is fun. So I pick up my fiddle and I play a pretty tune. I go outside and holler at the moon. I dance in the sun and I sing a happy song. Picnic in the park with a friend along. Lay in the grass, look at the sky. Find a silver lining in the clouds rolling by. Call a good friend, lend a helping hand. Write a new song to play with the band. Sad is not forever. It goes away. It goes away. to play this show and we were very honored um, you know a, a tribute to Pete Seeger and we started thinking of all the songs a so many of the songs that are associated with Pete and that Pete made popular and that people learned because of Pete were 
if, if, if covers, you know, traditional songs, songs other people wrote. He just had such an ear for the really great ones. But he did write some of the best songs on earth. And so we wanted to make sure to get one in here that Pete Seeger actually wrote with his own hands. Um, we're counting on you to know this next one. But I was just thinking um, in that last song, it talks about go and ask my grandma to show me how to cook. And, and that line just reminded me of somebody I also want to acknowledge in this celebration, which is to who, who is Toshi Seeger. Um, Pete's wife, and I had I had the really good fortune of being able to spend some time with with Pete and Toshi, um, you know, before before they passed. And one of the things that I learned from Toshi, and I I will I take this with me in my daily life, is how to wash lettuce. <laughs> and I'm being quite serious here, because they were gardeners, as many of you probably know. Pete, when I met him, he was probably 82, and he was definitely still chopping chopping wood, you know, basically standing there with his axe, freshly, you know, covered with sawdust still. And they had this raging victory garden um, at their house in Beacon. And, and we, I was making dinner one night, trying to help make dinner. And, and I think I was handed a stack of lettuce and I started just sort of like rinsing it under the faucet. And Toshi was like, oh, no, 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 no. And there was a system because the lettuce came out of the garden. So it was covered in actual dirt. This didn't come from the grocery store. So, you know, we put it in a big bowl to soak the lettuce first and, and let it, like, really hydrate and fill up with water. And the dirt and the rocks would all fall to the bottom of that pot. And then we'd take the lettuce out of that pot. We'd put it in another pot. And we'd rinse it out some more and let it sit in the water. Then we'd take it out and we'd run it under the faucet again. Then we'd throw it in the salad spinner. And man, that was a perfect salad, hard one. But I did learn that from Toshi Seeger. And, and you know, behind every extremely famous uh, world-changing personality is probably a slightly quieter person washing the le each leaf of lettuce three times. So here's to Toshi. Um, what else? Where were we? Oh, yeah. And so here we go. This, isn't, this is one that Pete wrote, and I'm counting on you guys. I promise some of these people in the some of them w weren't familiar with this particular number. So I promised them that many of you would be and that you would sing along. And that you would play it. And that I would play it? On the guitar. Oh, <laughs> is that part of the deal now? Yes. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. I might play it on the guitar. But I'll definitely sing. And I hope you guys will sing, sing too. Um, here we go. <laughs> Picked them 
Thank you. All right. Uh, you're good. You're fine. Folks, this is. Oh. Mm -hmm. If I may say something, you met Dr. Carrie Groff over here. Carrie's amazing. Hello. But I'm not sure if you have met um, this bright sider right here properly. This is Miss Kristen Andreessen, and she's awesome. And um, that's all I wanted to say. Thank you. Thank you, Critter. <laughs> this next one is one of the few songs I actually had a chance to sing for Pete Seeger. So that's pretty cool. And he said he liked it at least. So here we go. <laughs> um, I went to see the doctor. I'd come down with the blues. She said, I, I cannot, cannot cure help you, you, but here's something you can do. Go take a piece of paper and sit down for a while. And go sit and take a little of something you told my part. <laughs> <laughs> this is good, okay, this is good. This is a song. She I stole my part. I wrote it so long ago, and I've been doing it for all these years. And then I finally realized. You met a doctor. I met a doctor. Right there. There she is. There. And so this song, and the, the first line says, I went to see the doctor. And then I gave her that line, but then I forgot and just stole it from her. Can we have a do-over? Do you guys mind? Oh. <laughs> Come over here. OK, so she's the doctor. I've got this. And she's the whatever. The, I'm the patient. Here we go. One, two, three, four. I went to see the doctor. I'd come down with the blues. She said, I cannot help you, but here's something you can do. Go get a piece of paper and sit down for a while and draw a pretty picture of something that yeah. makes you smile. I know it makes me happy. Didn't have to think for long. But when I tried to draw it, it always came out wrong. I had a box of 12, 48, and 64. But nowhere could I find that one shade I was looking for. I guess I realized, should have come as no surprise. Crayola doesn't make a color for your eyes. There is no way that I could possibly describe you. Crayola doesn't make a color to draw my love. Yeah. At first I thought of green, blue, but then I saw blue, green. And then again in bright light, they look aquamarine. And then at night they're darker. I looked again for you, saw gray and black. And when I walk in after midnight blue, but hues of the deepest skies would be a compromise. Crayola doesn't make a color for your eyes. There is no way that I could possibly describe you. 
So, um, yeah, like I said, that, that song's been around for a while. It's on a record that I did not think to bring because I just, you know, forget to bring CDs anywhere anymore. But you can find it if you really want to. And more important than that, I want to tell you that the other songs you heard that weren't Pete Seeger songs are originals of ours that are not yet released anywhere. And if you would like to be the first to know when they are available on an album, we have an email list at the back where normally you would find a merch table. We simply have a place where you can give us your email if you want. We're extremely disorganized with sending out emailings. We will not spam you at all. We'll probably send you one email when the record comes out like, oh, right, that record is out. So if you want to hear about it, just sign your email up there. Um, what else shall we do? Shall we get back to some Pete songs? You guys ready to sing some more? Yeah. How are you doing? Are you getting what you came for? <laughs> All right. It's really, really a pleasure and an honor to be here at the Millennium Stage. It's one of the great venues in the country. So before I forget, let's just say a big round of thanks to all the incredible, incredibly professional staff, the people who introduced us and who are doing sound, who are on the cameras and the lights and the, I don't know, the people keeping the place air conditioned. Let's just give them a round of applause. Whoa. Yeah, for the air conditioning. <laughs> okay, this is a great, great, great venue. Um, what do you want to do, Carrie? So I think we, sh I'm sure everybody knows or has at least heard the song, Michael Row the Boat. Yeah. It's a subtle muttering out there. Oh. All right. they're, well, they're for the Pete Seeger show, which is all about singing along, you guys are really quiet. You gotta, you know, get loud. Yeah? That's it. Yeah? yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. So, they're going to be there when we need them. Here we are. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Mm, right? Can I have a seat? Yeah, I was pretty good. Michael rose up for the shore. Hallelujah, Michael rose up on the shore. Hallelujah, Michael rose up on the shore. Hallelujah, Michael rose up on the shore. 
guys try that with me? That was your part. You want it again? Michael rowed the boat ashore. That's it, really. Michael rowed the boat ashore. Hallelujah. Michael rowed the boat ashore. Hallelujah. Sister, help to trim the sail. Hallelujah. Sister, help to trim the sail. Hallelujah. Michael rowed the boat ashore. so much. That feels good. Singing feels good. Okay, we got one more for you. One more. Um, so please, once again, put your hands together for Aaron Buchheister on the mandolin and the dobro. For Chris Critter Eldridge on the guitar. For Dr. Kerry Groff on the fiddle. My name is Kristen Andreessen. We are the Brightsiders. Look for our record next year. We give thanks to the people who came before us and healed hearts through singing and through the preservation of traditional music and rhythms and toe tapping grooves that make your body just need to get up and dance and the songs with the lyrics that change the world but nobody would pay attention to the words unless they were put to a melody and a beat that you take home with you and take into your heart. That's the power of song. We give incredible thanks to Pete Seeger for inspiring us in that way. <laughs> okay. So this is definitely a sing-along. I think I first sang this in the fundamentalist church that my grandparents went to here in Falls Church, Virginia. Except in that church, they didn't have music, uh, instruments. It was only singing. And so they did a really good job with the harmony. So as Pete would say, doesn't matter what you're singing, what harmony, just go for it. Um, everybody can get humming. I'm going to lay down my sword and shield down by the riverside.
little too long. Yes. Anybody got the energy to stand up with us for one more verse? A little of this clapping, song? maybe? How about yes. a little clapping? Can we get it? Here we go. One, two. I love it. This makes me so happy to see. Join us at Millennium Stage. For more information on upcoming Millennium Stage performances, please visit kendy-center.org or on Facebook. Thank you, and we hope you enjoy the rest of your evening at the Kennedy Center. <laughs>